Madam Speaker, I rise today to honor Cleon Kimberling. Dr. Kimberling was recently honored by Colorado State University's Department of Animal Science as the Livestock Leader of the Year. Dr. Kimberling is now 81 years old, has dedicated his life to improving livestock health. Received a degree in veterinary medicine from Colorado State in 1959, and since that time has made significant contributions to the veterinary science field. One of Dr. Kimberling's achievements includes developing tests that contributed to the eradication of brucellosis in the dairy industry. He has also successfully advocated for different nutrition standards for sheep, leading to an overall increase in the health of our sheep herds nationwide. His dedication to animal health started at a very young age when an outbreak of disease occurred on his farm, and since that point, he has dedicated a lifetime to veterinary medicine, stopping disease outbreaks, and advocating prevention. Aside from his medical successes, he's also an avid cyclist. In fact, his business card states that he specializes in both sheep health and bicycling. At 65, Dr. Kimberling completed a bike trip from Oceanside, California to Bar Harbor, Maine. This trip was over 3,500 miles long. His support for agriculture has helped many farmers and ranchers prevent disease and improve our livestock industry. These stories highlight an amazing man, and I am proud to honor Dr. Cleon Kimberling from the House floor. I yield back. My name is Cleon Kimberly. Today I'm 87. I grew up in Champion, Nebraska. Champion was wonderful. I had a good start and lived on a farm with all kinds of animals. I had dogs and cats and geese and I had a pet uh, goat. So uh, I started riding a bicycle when I was about nine years old out on the farm. Oh my goodness, my father is a huge inspiration. Every day he wakes up and he's motivated to get something done and he's always got, well today I'm going to accomplish this and I'm going to accomplish this and so you grow up in a household of a father and a mother who are always goal setting and, and getting this accomplished and making this great achievement that all you have to do is try and follow in the wake. And so yes, every day I wake up and it's like, oh, got to be inspired to do something just like my dad. I believe that uh in all phases of life, you need, a, you need a goal. And when I was a young kid on the farm, my uh, grandfather had gone with a train load of cattle to Chicago with cattle and came back and brought me a bicycle. And my goal was always to ride that bicycle from our house, our farm, into Champion, which was eight miles on the dirt road. I never completed that goal until I was in the 70s. But you always have to have a goal. And I then, I've always liked to cycle. So I always wanted to bicycle across the United States. But I never knew how to approach Grandma about my goal and bicycle from coast to coast. So one morning at breakfast, I, she was reading the ARP magazine, and there was an article in there that people who have goals live longer. 
So that was my opening to say, tell what my goal was to cycle across the United States. And Grandma said, I'll drive for you. So we did. So I'm 65 years on planet Earth. I bicycled from Oceanside, California to Bar Harbor, Maine. One of these rides, you have to be in top physical condition. So you train constant. It's a constant thing, not a spurt. It takes days and days and months to build up the stamina to do one of these. Out and about, you need uh, tire equipment primarily, hatch kit, pump, and the ability to remove a tire, patch tire. That's the main thing. <laughs> This uh, real good friend of ours, uh, Dot Dickerson, uh, is a bicycling advocate here in Fort Collins. So she wanted pictures taken of different people, and they selected me, I guess, to make the billboard. And I think that billboard said, you know me, I ride a bicycle. And it was on a billboard that on Harmony and Mesa. Another goal that I've had over the years was to bicycle to, from the home here to Imperial, Nebraska. So on my 50th high school class reunion, I thought this is the time to complete that goal. So I left here at 3.20 in the morning and arrived in Imperial, Nebraska 7.30 that same evening, totaling 190 miles for my 50th high school class reunion. He's done the perimeter of the United States. He's done all the way across the United States. He's, every time he says, oh, I've been completed that goal, then he starts another one. And uh, he's done the Lewis and Clark Trail. And as of today, he's training to get ready for Pedal the Plains, which is out in eastern Colorado, and it's 170 some miles. So, anyway, he's one of those live wires that you just can't hold still. I was a professor at CSU for 40 years. I retired in 2005 when I was 75. I became interested in veterinary medicine because I'd always and on the farm, I was the one that was designated to, to treat all the cattle and the horses. And I watched the veterinarians do this, you know, work on the sick animals ever since I was a kid. So that took focus on my interest in veterinary medicine. So when I finished the service in 1953, I decided to come back to CSU and go into veterinary medicine, which I did. And I graduated from that in 1959. I took a job with the uh, Department, the U.S. Department of Agriculture in what at that time they called Animal Disease Prevention. So I worked with, with that for five years. And during that time, they sent me to the University of Minnesota to become a brucellosis epidemiologist. And when I finished my degree at the University of Minnesota, I came back to CSU and accepted a job in clinics. So that I spent 40 years in teaching veterinary medicine. While I was at the university, we had developed a sheep program for teaching students and serving the uh, ranchers that own sheep and cattle. So after uh, I retired, my associate, Jerry Parson, and I started a company on our own to serve the sheep industry and do some work also with cattle. I, I guess that uh, I didn't think I've ever done anything special. But it's uh, 
the things that did, I did do were production type things that helped the industry advance in, in the beef industry, the sheep industry, and, and uh, ed, dairy alike. It's all those things put together and you could pick out each individual thing that you've done with those, which probably accumulated into that, uh, that award. I get up every morning, stand up, dress up, and thank God for another day.